screen on uh, bit uh, transformers, B-I-T-T -T transformers, and I took a three-phase AC um, transformer and took all the windings off, and now I have this nice E-core, and I also did another one here, and so I have two to work with, and I'm thinking about this one as cutting it like in half all the way across and have two of these and then I'll cut uh, and I'll cut one like cut this leg off and then cut these about here and here and now I have that shunt bar to go on the top and the bottom so I think from this I can make uh, a full BITT transformer this one a friend of mine's having a uh, big shunt bar made for me out of some microwave oven transformers and so I'll have a big one up here or there and there. Also I'm thinking if anybody wants to comment I'm thinking when you I think and I should cut this like this about like there you know about a half inch here or so so that there's more when it so it's, it tends to go into the shunt bar and over and bypass the primary, then uh, go back where it came from into the primary. So uh, I'm thinking about doing that, and maybe this one too, cutting it like about here. I don't want to hack it up too much though, but um, anyway, so this is moving along. I have some transformer tape I'm going to tape this up before I wind it. I think I'll do this 22 gauge and this 18 gauge because I have a spool of each and there's not as much room in here as in here. Anyways and so here's this florist wire one and you can see the primary in here and I have kind of a loop of florist wire, loop of florist wire, then there's a big secondary under here and I wrap the whole thing with florist wire trying to make that bypass like the secondary returns to the other secondary and this one as long as I have an inductive load like a coil as the load I can get it to be almost twice as much out as in and that's a parent power they call it output because I'm using a um, coil as the load and I'm thinking that's not such a bad thing because if I was running a motor with this, the that's what you'd have is an inductive load with a motor, like an AC motor. But when I use a resistive lump load, it, it plummets down under unity, I'll say that. And I'm not rectifying when I test the output, I just put a load across the AC. And here's this experimental one I built. And a few videos back, I have a video video of this. And this hasn't worked out. It's just, it can be a little bit over unity, again, with a parent power and an inductive load. But it doesn't work as well as this one. But I think these ones are going to work great. And um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So uh, thanks for watching. Okay.